Recently, there's been a large increase in the number of people taking magnesium supplements as more and more people are discovering the benefits of this mineral, but there is a possibility of taking too much and this is called hypermagnesemia. The first symptoms you may feel when you take too much magnesium is stomach upset. Now keep in mind some forms of magnesium are more likely to act as a laxative such as magnesium citrate and magnesium oxide. After the initial stomach upset you may start to see other symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, low blood pressure which can make you feel lightheaded or dizzy and in some cases irregular heartbeat or slowed heart rate. And very rarely when your magnesium levels are really high you may start to experience symptoms such as muscle weakness, difficulty breathing confusion and in extreme cases coma or cardiac arrest. For a healthy person it's almost impossible to overdose on magnesium from our foods as our kidneys usually get rid of the excess. There are four main reasons why people get too much magnesium in their body. The main reason for having too much magnesium is when there is a problem with the kidneys such as with kidney failure. Our kidneys are responsible for filtering out most of the excess magnesium from our body. You may also get magnesium toxicity when you take too much magnesium. Particularly for those being given magnesium intravenously such as pregnant women with preeclampsia. Taking high doses of magnesium supplements, antacids, laxatives such as Epsom salts and enemas containing magnesium can also cause too much magnesium in the body. There are also certain conditions that cause an increased absorption of magnesium from the gastrointestinal tract such as inflammatory bowel disease, constipation, gastritis or gastric ulcer disease. There are also some medications that may increase the absorption of magnesium such as those that cause constipation. Some examples are opioid painkillers, drowsy antihistamines and medication for incontinence. Vitamin D can also increase the absorption of magnesium and there have been cases of magnesium toxicity in people with kidney problems who also take vitamin D. Other medications that can contribute to increased magnesium levels in our body are lithium and calcitriol. Certain medical conditions can increase the shift of magnesium into the cells. These include diabetic acidosis, metabolic acidosis, tumor lysis, hemolysis and rhabdomyolysis. Speak to your doctor first before taking magnesium supplements if you have any of these conditions. Now there have even been multiple cases over the years of people developing magnesium toxicity from swallowing too much water from the Dead Sea which is high in minerals such as magnesium. <laughs> The recommended daily allowance for magnesium is 400 to 420 milligram per day for adult men and 310 to 320 milligram for adult women. If you're pregnant then it's 350 to 360 milligram a day or 310 to 320 milligram if you're breastfeeding. The upper limit from supplements you should take is 350 milligram per day. This excludes the magnesium you get from your diet. Once you start going above this amount is when you may start getting side effects. If you start getting nausea or stomach upset then it's important to stop your magnesium supplements and speak to your doctor right away. Some good food sources of magnesium include dark green leafy vegetables, seeds and nuts, legumes and beans, whole grains, fatty fish, dark chocolate, fruits and tofu. So there you have it. Magnesium can be an amazing supplement if you're not getting enough in your diet but remember too much of anything is never good. Thanks for watching this video on magnesium. If you found this useful please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!